Hello everyone, this is Sam and in today's video I wish to address a few things as well as pretty much go over what has happened in 2022 and what I expect to be happening in 2023. First of all, I haven't been making quite as much content as I otherwise should or would like to because well, I have been quite busy with work IRL and I also have been quite busy with my personal life on the side. So this is a, a good start to a recap of 2022. The year started with me being dumped by my ex, relatively heartbroken, needing to find uh, some things to escape into, so I started uh, writing music, going back to the gym, doing a lot of cooking and going out. A lot. So the first part of the year was already not exactly placed under the sign of me making a lot of quality content. Then as we moved onwards in the year I actually managed to find a good balance again. I focused a lot more on work and despite the inflation and the conflict in Ukraine as you guys are aware of, I managed to go on vacations this summer, see some longtime friends that I couldn't see in quite a while and this gave me a lot of positive energy which also worked towards having a very good relationship with the girl I met this year and that has been going very well. Speaking about that, there is gonna be some stuff happening in 2023 maybe but this will be discussed in due time. In the meantime, the last part of the year I had a lot of work. Once again, I am aiming to get promoted at some point at my workplace, so I needed to focus on that a little bit. And this is pretty much a good summary of my year 2022. Lots of, you know, escaping forward, spending time on myself, enjoying some stuff IRL, and then meeting someone new, spending a lot of time with that person, enjoying every minute spent. And finally, once again, lots of work at my company, trying to go forward in my career. And this has also been because I did fall quite out of love with Guild Wars 2. I have no fun making economic content anymore because I was trying to make guys because that's mostly what people want. You know, every year people expect to have a new updated version of a guide, you know, that has that new flamboyant 2022 or 2023 tag in the video title. And, you know, I, I had no fun making that. I actually want to explore some other YouTube ventures, probably in French on another channel. So, with that said, what is left to do for this channel, for Guild Wars 2? Well, probably some more background stuff like drop rates, presenting some more obscure economic stuff, that's gonna happen. But mostly what I want to go back to and what I believe would bring me the greatest joy would be cooking. Cooking has always made me happy and back in 2018 and 2019 I was doing a lot of cooking streams. Each of these I had tremendous fun and the people watching on Twitch apparently had some as well. So I have quite a long backlog of files that I did say throughout the years that I would turn into actual videos but this is what I want to do now, because the rest of the stuff that I would otherwise work towards is quite as appealing, so that's gonna be the way things go. And obviously some more cooking streams, because after all, I will be needing content. On the side, if you guys haven't noticed, I did get a little bit back into streaming Pokemon, uh, Scarlet and Violet, the release was tremendously good for me because I really love playing Pokemon games. Before that I was playing some uh, hack ROMs, especially the Team Rocket one, which was very funny to do on stream. And you'll probably see me do a little bit of Pokemon and quite a fair bit of trying my hands at uh, Harvest Temple CM, which has been what has rhythmed the streams as of lately. So I believe that's quite a good look at the horizon of 2023 when it comes to the content I will be outputting on this channel and if you guys are curious I will leave the name of the French channel on which I intend to discuss 
everything else that I am into, so economy, like the real one, mangas, anime, there's a lot of stuff I want to share and hopefully you guys are going to be into that as well, so you'll have to work on your French, but you know, nothing is out of reach if you have determination. And beyond that, as I said, I have some more personal and career-related plans for 2023, so content will not be as sporadic. I'm going to try to be more regular. This is going to be a year in which I'm going to do stuff that I enjoy, and I sure hope that you guys are going to come for the ride. And finally, one last question remains. What about the Patreon stuff? Because that was a huge incentive for me uh, to keep working on videos, content and everything. Well, since I've been like going for my career for a fair bit, I did hone my Excel skills once again. I have some stuff that I'm gonna do, update, be it on the guides part, be it on the presentation part. I think that there is some good stuff to be done over there. And hopefully you guys are gonna be into that as well. So more graphic, better understanding, more templates, less working on deep dive files, just stuff you guys can make yours and work with. And eventually, I guess there's gonna be some cooking bloopers and stuff like that that will make their way onto Patreon as well. So if you guys are excited for that, let me know. If you guys believe that I am completely wrong in what I think is gonna be good for the channel, please tell me as well. Your opinion is valued and is, as always, extremely important. Half of the content is me doing what I want to do, and the other half is you guys telling me what I really should be doing. So feel free to give constructive criticism in the comments. I will always read all of the comments. And I guess that's been me taking, talking for far too long again. So that's going to be it. Let's wrap it up. I wish every single one of you guys a wonderful year 2023 and hopefully we spend a fair bit of it together. See ya.